and watching out for you. The suicide rate among adults in El Paso County is on the rise, and that's why we're talking about mental health and how it's important to keep track of how our loved ones are doing. New side Spencer Humphrey. He's live outside Aspen Point Mental Health Center in Colorado Springs. With how the issue is affecting folks in our area, Spencer. Yeah, Elizabeth, and I do want to give the viewers watching at home a little bit of warning here up front. I will be getting into the recent trends of the suicide rates here in El Paso County, including how it's been during COVID-19. So just a heads up, we will be getting into that subject. But the main point we want to get across tonight is that no matter what the trends are, there are always ways they can be improved, and there are always ways we can help. It's a hard topic to address. Suicide is, there's, there's very few things more complicated than that. But it's one each and every one of us has a duty to confront, even though the facts aren't always pretty. Since 2019, last year, we had a significant jump um, in our suicides. And the fact is, newly released numbers show suicides went up in El Paso County quite a bit last year. 2018, we had 152. 2019, we jumped up to 180. So that's a, that's a pretty significant difference. The issue is, is that there's still a stigma around reaching out for mental health help. But this year, despite the challenges we all face from COVID-19. One of the areas of good news we do have is that year to date, um, we're actually about 20 cases uh, behind where we were last year with suicides. Since the pandemic hit, mental health professionals have been seeing more people coming to seek help, in part thanks to COVID-19 safety precautions. We transitioned all of our services to telehealth in a matter of 24 to 48 hours, and I think that has opened up an avenue where people can get care more easily without having to leave their home. It's too soon to know if there's a correlation between the lower suicide numbers and the increase in mental health support, and the pandemic isn't over yet. That this is widespread and we're only starting to see the mental health impact. Maintaining strong mental health takes teamwork. We are thus far as a community locally doing a really good job of reaching out of managing that stress. It's a hard issue to confront, but it's always worth the effort to at least reach out and try to help. Taking a step back and trying to slow things down and focus on things that you can do to take care of yourself. And we want to let you know some of the resources available if you or someone you know is in immediate danger of harm or is suffering from a mental health crisis. Now, there is a crisis walk-in center here at Aspen Point that is open 24-7 for anyone who needs help. And you can also call the Colorado Crisis Line. That number is 844-493-TALK. Again, that's 844 493 talk. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Spencer Humphrey, News 5.